Greetings everyone! I'm pretty pumped because today I'm gonna be showing you how you can refresh your decor for spring but you don't have to go out and buy a ton of stuff because all of these things use upcycled materials so it's really awesome and just a great way to bring in greenery into your space so let's get this thing started shall we? Alright so the first thing we're gonna be making are these little planters and you're gonna need a tuna can for this so I just took the label off of the tuna can rinsed it out so it doesn't smell like tuna and you can use whatever kind of shallow cans you may have around what we're gonna do is just take some clothespins and clip them onto the side of the can and that is literally it this is so easy even if you're not good at crafts you can do this My planter is now covered in clothespins. I love the way that it looks. I think it looks super cool, especially when you look at it from the top. I have a basil plant here, but you can use whatever kind of plant you want. You can use herbs, you could use something that's just straight up decorative, but I like having fresh basil around because you can cook with it and it just smells really good. I'm pretty much just gonna dig this guy out and I'm gonna use the surrounding soil to fill up the tuna can. And here is our finished little plant friend. So you can keep these wherever you like. I like keeping a basil plant in the kitchen, but if you didn't plant basil, you can keep this in your bedroom, in your bathroom. This is a super easy way to bring in a small plant into your space. And depending on what kind of plant you have, the care will vary, but a basil plant is easy. You just water every day, give it a little bit of daylight, and it's good to go, right? Why am I talking to a plant? No. For the next planter, you're going to need a wine bottle for this. So I've cleaned out this wine bottle, removed the label. From here, I am going to start painting it. So you want paint that is going to work on glass. I really like Martha Stewart's paint. I'm going to paint the entire bottle white, and then I'm going to have a colored section towards the bottom. Now you can do whatever you want. You could make this just a completely solid color. You can paint a different design on it. This is totally up to you. And the great thing about this is you can customize it to your taste. You'll probably need at least two coats of paint and you wanna let the paint dry for at least an hour in between coats. And you wanna make sure that you cover your surface because you may drop paint just like I did. Okie dokie, artichoke. So it's all white and it's completely dry. So now to paint this bottom section, I'm going to want to tape off the area so I don't get paint on any of the white part that I don't want colored paint on. Once it's all taped off, then it's just about selecting whatever color you want to use. So I have a pretty yellow here. I have this bottle that I painted a corally color and this one's completely dry so you can see what it looks like when you peel off the tape. So now it's just time to fill these guys up with some flowers. And you want to make sure you're going with longer stem plants or flowers because the wine bottles are tall and you want to make sure that they'll be able to stick out and not just get squished in the bottle. For this guy over here, I'm loving these yellow flowers. So I'm going to put one in here. And then let's get some stuff to just spice it up. So I think that is going to be it for these guys. You can see that this is so easy to do. They're so pretty and they're just a really great way to add color into your space and also beautiful flowers. All right, so for this one, you're going to want to make sure that you save your corks from your wine bottles because we're going to be upcycling the entire wine bottle, including the little corks. So I have a cork here, it's dried, it's clean, and I'm just gonna take a steak knife that I actually have just set aside to use for crafts, and I'm going to start hollowing out the center of the cork. So this can be a little bit tricky at first, you kind of just have to find your groove and your rhythm that works for you. Once you kind of get it started, it becomes a lot easier. You can just keep going down. The cork is hollowed out now, and I just went about halfway down. And now I have these magnets here. These are super strong, but also really small disc magnets. So I'm gonna take my hot glue gun here, and I'm putting a little dot 
And then we're just gonna stick the magnet on like that. I have this little cup that's filled with some succulents that I just trimmed off of some larger succulents. I'm just gonna take this dirt and spoon it into the pork. And you're really not gonna need that much. You will see that very quickly. It fills up with just a little bit of dirt. And then you just stick your little guy in like that. From here, you can stick these on any metal surface. I love putting these on my fridge because they're just really different and unique. And also a little conversation piece too because people aren't expecting to see little succulents and plants on your fridge, but it's cool. And you also got to upcycle the pork. So that is it, my friends. As you can see, these were super easy and also super cute. So if you make these yourself, I wanna see your photos on Twitter and Instagram. So please send them to me because it will make me so, so happy. That's it for today, folks. And this is where it gets real weird in the outro. But if you want to watch my last video, you can. And if you don't, then peace out.